Show me Poseidon. Last time I spoke to you, you made a mockery about our club's ownership. I did indeed. You said it was blood money from the Russian oligarchs. That's what you said to me. Now, I'm going to throw that back at you. The finance of your club came from dildo money. Why do you think West Ham are better than Chelsea? Because we have a lot of players, a lot of good players in the squad, rather than just a number of players. We've got key players. You got key, You don't think we got key players? Well, you've got key players, but finishing sixth when you're meant to be finishing second or third is hardly inevitable, is it? Yeah, but we've upped our game since last year. Well, we've uh, we've had a year to work things out, and we've got almost got three players in every position. We know that what happened last year was that a lot of players were on a sick list. A lot of key players were on a sick list. You're making a distinction between key players and non-key players. See, the thing is, in the history of football, you wish you had players now like we did when we had Bobby Moore and Trevor Brookin. Oh, you, you, all right, okay, okay. I, I thought we were going to be here talking about this weekend's game, but you're talking about the good old days. Was that 50 years ago? I think we're going to batter you. Well, batters are rather strong words when you don't have fish and chips. But you know, I think Enzo Fernandez in the middle of the park walks faster than he runs. You've got Nicholas Jackson up top, where I can moonwalk with the ball better than he can run with. And if you ever look at other players in the pitch as well, like Enkuku, he's always injured. You touch him, he goes down like a broken skittle. That's why I think we're going to beat you. We've got more power, more precision. More precision. Have you not seen how, how Jackson's finishing has improved in the last month or so? Have you not seen how my painting and decorating has come along? That's the answer to your question. Right. Uh, okay. But what I think is that you're living in the past, my friend. I think you're living on the days of Bobby Moore, Martin Peters, Jeff Hurst, Two goal Tommy Taylor. And I don't think they'll be there tomorrow. What have you got? You've got a top gambler in London, right? What's he going to gamble on? He doesn't make runs at gambles. He gets him to the front post, does he? No, he doesn't do that. He gambles somewhere in Soho. That's what he does. And the other guy, Kurt Zuma. Are, are there any cats around in his house anymore? No. How did he practice free kicks with his kittens? Well, I find that rather despicable. That's a very long word for me. I would have normally said outrageous. However, with Kurt Zuma, kicking cats is not his only thing. He can now do that in Saudi Arabia where it's probably legal. And coming back to the middle of the park, we do have Paqueta with the betting. Yes, he may be a fraudulent person, but he is quality with the ball and he will tear your centre backs apart. Now, I've got to tell you that our, our centre backs have come a long way. They, they we actually do complement each other. They complement each um, other. One said that his hair looked better than they did the week before. The other one said, the other one said that his bum looked better than the week before. So they do complement each other. I don't think that one sticks on us. No, I really don't. don't. But life comes back round like a boomerang. Your bum may be better and your hair may look sharp. But if that ball goes over the top, you've got a messy bun, or if it goes underneath, you're on your You will do that. All right, mate, plant a few seeds and you've got yourself a palm tree. It doesn't exactly mean you're going to get coconuts now, does it? Right. Okay, that's very funny. Uh, I, I, you, you should be on a chat show, by the way, because you are funny. You are a comedian. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. But coming back to the seriousness of a game on uh, Saturday, Chelsea versus West Ham. Yeah, mate. It's that £2 billion squad against your, like, uh, castaways. Uh, so, uh, why do you think on the pitch, on the football pitch, that you're going to score more goals than we will score? Well, it's simple. You see, our defence is solid and tight, like a brick wall. Yours is like a brick wall, but with the bricks taken out, so it's just a wall. And there is a wall with no bricks, so it's broken down. I like that analogy. Yes, I do like that. But uh, look, coming back to the relationship between Chelsea and West Ham, so I know that you're bitter. All, all this all is coming out to me is because you're bitter. You hate Chelsea, right? I'm sorry. I say I take myself more like a stout than a bitter. <laughs> right. But I know you've never forgiven us for taking Frank Lampard away. Am I right? 
never forgiven you for taking Frank Lampard. That's just number one. Joe Cole, John Terry. Three great players, in my opinion, that Chelsea just took away. And but didn't them. they look better wearing blue than than uh, than purple? They looked a lot wear better wearing claret. For one, not purple. Right. So I'm confused. Uh, are you? Is your team about claret wine, or is it about blowing bubbles? Uh, I, I, I'm just not sure. No. Well, I'm not. Into I think you're confused. I'm definitely confused. I'm not really into blowing bubbles. I just love that's the uh, Michael Jackson's bit. Yeah, blowing bubbles. He he. He he. Right. But come out to this Saturday. Look, we don't. You don't have Bobby Moore on the pitch anymore. No, you okay. don't. You don't have Sir Jeff Hurst. No, we don't. Uh, so who have you got for this Saturday? Who's going who's to throw the bombs at us? I would love to say Declan Rice, but we lost him a few years back. But now we've got the mighty old Jared Bowen on the right wing. Who's Sometimes the little guy. Striker. The little guy, yes. Oh, okay, you call him mighty. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hope is good. Hope, hope, hope. If there was an eighth, if there was an eighth dwarf in the Snow White novel, it would definitely be Hopey. That's right. Okay. Okay. So what? What, what about our bombs, like our wingers, uh, Sancho? Uh, Cole Palmer, uh, Madueke. What do you think? How are you going to stop them from scoring? They sound like amazing players, but like I said about palm trees, you already know. And on the left, Sancho, not really a good of uh, of Mexican food, so I don't really rate him that well. And others as well. Well, Madueke, I've never been into that swimming pool, or that region of the world before, so I don't know what it's like. Yeah, uh, well, I'm confused because I thought we were going to talk about the s tactics and how you're going to score goals against Chelsea. I, I see the bitterness. I can feel. I can feel it here. I can feel the bitterness. So you hate Chelsea because we've had all the money. Now you can't choose your parents. You can't choose uh, your parent companies either. Okay, so we had all the money and we we have the cream of quality in our squad, and that's what really counts because we put that squad on the pitch that we're going to do. It's going to do you on Saturday, right? We're going to score more goals than you. And that's what counts, right? Yes. No. No. <laughs> He's well done, anyway. But I believe we're going to beat you three goals to one. What do you say? Come on, final verdict. West Ham, 3-0.